In this video, we're going to talk about the Office 365 video portal, and I'm going to show you how to use the scripts that are on my blog uh, URL located in the description below, but how you can use the scripts in that blog to bring the video portal down within your SharePoint site so it can be more integrated. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the video portal. Uh, here we are in my SharePoint site in Office 365, and if we go up to the waffle up here, you can see that we have a link to our video portal. And if we click on the video portal, it takes us into this really great video portal in Office 365. Uh, the problem is that it's taken us out of SharePoint. And so now to get back to where we were before, we actually have to hit the back button or navigate back to the SharePoint uh, app from the Waffles. Um, and it kind of breaks the user experience. Also, if you want to target a specific channel, um, within like maybe your HR site you want to show training videos or just something it's just, just not there's not a great way to do that without going through and maybe embedding specific videos into your SharePoint site so what we're gonna do is gonna use some scripts to take this video portal and actually put it within our SharePoint site so let's go back into our SharePoint site and I'm going to uh, create a page that I want to put my video portal on or actually we can put it on this page here so let's go put it on our uh, home page here. So I'm going to edit this page and now I am going to insert into this page a web part. It is going to be a media and content script editor web part. So let's get that added to the page. And we can see that script editor web part right here. So from here we're going to edit the web part we're going to click on this link to edit snippet. Here we have some links to some scripts uh, from my blog post that you can grab from there and uh, we're going to add them to this, those references to this page. We have a reference to the jQuery library. Uh, we have a reference to the script that we actually wrote for the video portal uh, that is going to be responsible for calling the rest web services for the video portal as well as calling functionality within the next two libraries which uh, one of them is the masonry library which will give us the nice tiles on the screen and then this uh, library called flip and it will actually give us the ability to when we mouse over um, a preview tile to actually flip over and give us more information and then we have uh, references to fabric UI uh, into some CSS that we have so we're gonna take these script references just copy them and then paste them into the snippet here and insert them so now when that's done we can click on apply and we can save our page. So when the page loads, we now see on the page that we have links to our three channels from our video portal. We also have this filter search box. If we click on one of these channels, it actually shows us the thumbnails from the video portal. And if I move my mouse over each thumbnail, it gives me more information about those videos. And we can actually use this filter to search for one. So if I'm looking for a specific video in this channel, I can start typing its name and it will show up for me here. And finally, if I want to view a video, I can just click on it and we get this nice dialog box that pops up and starts playing the video for us. And you can see all of this is within the context of our SharePoint site. So we no longer have to send the users out to get to the videos in the video portal. And this can be uh, enhanced all sorts of ways. We've uh, made this to where instead of having a pop-up box for the video portal that actually plays above the, above the, the thumbnails on the page itself. Um, we've also done it as a rotator on a home page. So the, with, with these libraries and with REST, you can really customize this however you want and really get a great, great uh, video experience within your SharePoint site in Office 365. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, if you have any questions about this solution or any of our others, please feel free to reach out to us and we would be glad to help. Thanks a lot.